Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, RV East Coast. Um, today we are on our way to the Greater Philadelphia RV Expo and it should be a lot of fun. Still winter here in Pennsylvania. We had to um, dig the, the truck out of the snow this morning but we are really excited because uh, spring is just around the corner and this is the time to start making plans for the uh, for the summer and for the next RV season. So today we have a mission as we go to the show. What are we doing? We are going to bring to you our top five favorite campgrounds that we want to check out this year. So we're going to help do the homework for you, check out some campgrounds and let you know what we think should be on your list if you're especially if you're in our area. Most of the campgrounds that we are reviewing today are within the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, New York area. So let's see how it goes. The Philadelphia, Greater Philadelphia Expo Center at the RV show and I'm here with uh, Jed Wood and I'm with Blue Rocks Family Campground. Well Blue Rocks is located in Lenhartsville, Pennsylvania which is uh, near Hamburg. Um, it's about 45 minutes from the Oaks show here. We're located near, there's a Cabela store up there, um, Hawk Mountain is close by. Crystal Cave is a, another local attraction to us. We're near the Kutztown, uh, where they have the Kutztown Folk Festival. That's kind of a, a unique um, feature of our area that happens quite often. One of the things at our park that makes it a little bit unique is the fact that the campground is located right off of the Appalachian Trail. And it has uh, two of the greatest lookout points in uh, at least Berks County, if not Eastern Pennsylvania. Um, they're called the Pinnacle Point and the Pulpit Rock Lookout Point. They're both very accessible off of, the, um, off of the campground property. There's about a mile and a half trail on either side of the park. One is the yellow trail and one is the blue trail. It takes you right up to the top of the mountain and uh, some of the best views off the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania are to be seen right there through the parks. We have a uh, glacier deposit that's on the park. It's, it's part of the park, uh, the Blue Rocks Boulder Field. Uh, we're very into old cars and uh, vintage campers and stuff. We run a, an activity in September called the Rally on the Rocks, which is a vintage camping rally. And uh, that's kind of a neat thing that we do. It's kind of a hobby that my brother and I have taken on. But uh, check our activity schedule, see when there's an activity that fits your family best. And we'd love to host you guys. We'd love to have you come out and visit with us. So, All right, thank thanks. you so much, Jen. Yeah, thank you nice for your time. You. Yep. Hi, I'm here with Pat from Sea Pirate Campground. So Pat, you have a family owned and operated campground. Tell us a little bit more about your campground. Well, a campground uh, down the Jersey Shore by uh, Long Beach Island. So what kind of amenities do you have at Sea Pirate Campground? You know, in our business, you got to stay up with the times and, and always be improving and upgrading. I mean, the cable TV, Wi-Fi, uh, the pools, snack bar, got 24 different flavors of soft serve ice cream. Plus I got one of them smash tables for smashing up the ice cream, mixing in uh, toppings and stuff like that. You're entertaining, you know, it's camping, but you're also in the entertainment business. Not because we're, at, at a destination, but because we're also a destination. They're coming for the activities, arts and crafts, ceramics. We'll have a, we have a themed weekends. One, one is a pirate theme. We have a country weekend. We, have, we do a car show, which is a big fundraiser for the local EMS squad. A chili cook-off, which is a uh, fundraiser we do for the local fire company. Um, we have a, we do in uh, September a crab fest. Three Halloween weekends. Yeah, first one is the non-scary for the little guys. Okay. Then we do a, we have a, a haunted hay ride that we do. The last weekend we do a haunted trail and uh, it just fills the park. I mean, it, the place is nuts. Everybody decorating their sites. Yeah. We have a contest for the best decorated site. Tell me about your campground as far as like the feel. Is it wooded? Is it open? You know, we had an area that was very heavily wooded and um, unfortunately Sandy took care of that for us and we lost over 500 trees and it really opened it up, but it, it, you know, out of every negative, there's a positive. And today, I think it's 100% better than what it was before because there are still trees there. There's still a lot of shade, but it's not overshaded. 
you know, and there's plenty of room for getting, I, I can take a 45 foot trailer and put it, put it in any campsite back there, all 50 amp electric. And uh, so we can handle anything that's out on the market today. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. So are a lot of your sites like full hookup, or partial, or do you have a variety? Majority of them are full hookup. We only have a handful of sites that are uh, tent sites mm -hmm. and uh, and a couple of water and electric sites. But uh, we're about 90%, uh, actually more than 90% full hookup. Okay, mm -hmm. and how many sites do you have? We have 276 right now. Um, and now tell me too about the area, like what kind of like, um, I know we tend to go out a lot because we have kids and yeah. you know, like you said, you're in the entertainment business, it's like feels that we constantly have to entertain them. So what kind mm -hmm. of things are around the area that people, families might want to visit? Well, we're in the Long Beach Island area. Long Beach Island is a very prestige type place. Um, it's not commercialized like Seaside Heights or Wildwood. It's more residential. you got, well, the northern end of the island is a very uh, prestige type place with the houses, multi-million dollar homes, stuff like that. But the beaches are all natural, all natural sand dunes, and they're not overly crowded like you would have in, in other shore areas. And now you do have your areas uh, like Beach Haven, which is, uh, that is like the happening place over there, where you do have a lot of um, entertainment rides, things like that. You know, but majority of the island is just a laid back, you know, go sit on the beach and enjoy, you know. So thank you so much, Pat. We um, are very thankful that you were able to talk to us today. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. We really look forward to visiting you at Sea Pirate Campground, hopefully this summer. Yeah, please do stop down. Love to have you. guys, I'm back here with Bill from Holly Shores in South New Jersey. So Bill, tell me about your campground. Well, we're a family-based park. Uh, we're family owned and operated. Uh, we're more geared to like, the, the family atmosphere. We have daily activities for the kids in the season. Uh, we have everything from cabin rentals to campsites to tent sites. So a little bit of everything for everybody. Now, are your campsites um, full hookup? You have a variety? We have uh, over 300 sites. We probably have 15 of them that are not full hookup, but all of the sites are water and electric. You also get uh, free cable and free Wi-Fi at your site when you come to the park. We have a uh, dog park. We are pet friendly. Uh, we have a beautiful dog park in the back of the park that you can let the dog run. We have uh, two playgrounds for the kids. Uh, we run activities. In, the, in, you know, in season every day from 10 a.m. to 9 o'clock at night. Um, describe like the feel of your campground. Is it like a lot of woods, open area, beach feel? We, have a, we do have a lot of trees. Um, we have, you know, shaded sites. We do have a few sites that are all sun. Uh, our pool area is all, all sun, so uh, we have, but mostly we do have shaded sites and a little bit of everything. Okay, so you mentioned you're close to the beach. What are some other things that are around your campground that people can do? Um, there's the Cape May County Zoo. That's about nine miles from our campground. Uh, it's an accredited zoo and it's free. Uh, also for the wine drinkers and the beer drinkers, we have great wineries and breweries that are popping up. Uh, right down the street from us there's Cold Spring Village. It's a historic little village that you can go and tour. Then there's the Wildwood Boardwalk for the kids with the rides and the amusements. Cape May, We've got great shopping. It's Victorian town, great places to eat. So a little bit of something for everybody. How long is the drive to the beach? We're actually four miles to the Wildwood beaches and four miles to the Cape May beaches. So in season with traffic, probably around 12 minutes to get to the actual beach. The Wildwood beaches are free and the Cape May beaches, you need a beach tag 12 or older, and the Cape May beaches were voted uh, in the top 10 beaches in the country this year. Cool, well, um, thank you, Bill, for uh, talking with us today. We really look forward to visiting sure. Holly Shores. Hopefully this summer we'll make it out there. Well, we hope to see you, so, you know, it was a pleasure talking to you as well. I'm here with Carl from Candy Hill Campground. Tell me a little bit about your campground. Oh, we're in Winchester, Virginia. A beautiful spot to go camping. Absolutely lovely. We've got 
the Shenandoah Valley, we've got Skyline Drive, we've got Harper's Ferry just our north, Luray just our south. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous area to explore, lots to do, all kinds of sights to see. We've got breweries, wineries, 425 restaurants to eat at, all different types of food, everything from Indian to Mexican, you name it, we've got it. We're a small family-owned campground. We have a trolley bus that goes out on a lot of the weekends, either to a farm market, historic tour, do, does things like the ice cream run, and we also have it as a rockin' trolley where we play loud rock music and have a total blast. Everybody enjoys that. Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right, and now I'm here with Selena from Candy Hill Campground, and Selena, tell us a little bit more about your campground. So we are in Winchester, um, literally right just outside of city limits. Um, and Winchester changed hands 72 times during the Civil War. And the way the story goes is, if you were alive in the time of the Civil War, you had to go outside and see which flag was flying to see whether you were in the North or in the South. Um, Stonewall Jackson's headquarters is there, George Washington Surveyor's office is there, there's an old Civil War courthouse museum, there's a ton of Civil War history, um, there's always a reenactment going on or two. Um, I know the North South Skirmish Association has a live fire competition twice a year, so people will come and stay with us and participate in that. That's also open to the public. So there's all sorts of history things. Patsy Klein's from there, she's buried there, there's a driving tour of her life that you can do. Okay. Um, there's a lot of really, really wild things to do in Winchester. Yeah. So you're a family owned and operated campground. We are. What yeah. makes that kind of more special than like a, one of the chain campgrounds? Family owned and operated campgrounds are so important in the industry right now because you are supporting a small family. We live on the property, we run, we're open all year, so we're open 365 days a year. Christmas, Thanksgiving, oh, okay. um, we're open 8 to 8 all year, ho um, holiday weekends at 9 or 10, it depends on what our clientele needs, what our guests yeah. needs. I love my campers, I love getting to know each and every one of them. Um, now are your sites full hookup, do you have a mix of sites? Most of our sites are full hookup, water, electric, sewer, cable TV, Wi-Fi, we also have sites that are 30 amp, 50 amp, you name it, we've got it, yeah. Alright, well it sounds like you have a lot of great amenities at your campground, um, and a lot of really cool things around the area. Yes, lots so. to do, golfing, shopping, you name it, everything is there. Okay, yep. great, thank you. guys, I'm here with Monica from Baker's Acres Campground. Monica, tell us a little bit more about your campground. Uh, it's a family owned and operated campground. This is our 51st year. We are right on the edge of the Pine Barrens, so you have the woods with old growth forests, you've got pine trees and oak trees, blueberry bushes, but then you're right around the corner from the bay and the ocean is just eight miles from us, Long Beach Island. So it's this like little pocket of quiet calm really close to a bunch of things that you just don't even realize how close you are to everything. That sounds really cool. So a lot of families come there and, and you go to the ocean, go mm -hmm. to the bay? Yeah, uh, I mean most people come to us because they want to go to the ocean. It's like a little oasis. We are considered like a small campground. We have about 250 sites. They're all shaded, they're all surrounded with trees, so it's not going to be like big field camping but you still have plenty of room and nice shade and a nice sandy flat surface, which people love because it's like digging oh, yeah. your toes into the beach sand. Yeah, and it makes it easy to flat surface for mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't even need to have pads down because our ground is just very naturally flat, naturally compacted sand, so it's nice to get your toes into, but also nice to park your RV on. We have a large playground, it's all sandy, lots of toys and, and things for the kids to do in there. Volleyball, horseshoes, bocce ball, a large camp store. And then we have the planned activities all summer long. We have hay rides, the movie nights, pool nights, things like that. Um, oh, we added a dog park, which is lots of fun because there's like balls hanging from the, the trees that the dogs can run and like smack them. It's silly, but it's really funny to watch. And we, we've tried to make everything fit into the campground in a way where it's reclaimed wood or things that have been repurposed. So. We really don't want to make a lot of new construction or anything like that if there's something we could use and, and refacilitate in a way. So, Well, that sounds really like a, like a lot of character. Now, your campground, too, is you said it's near the beach, but it also doesn't have like a beach feel, besides like the sanded area. Yeah, it's, it's weird because we are on the edge of the Pine Barrens, and it's a natural sandy surface. So this is just the way that our ground is, but we're surrounded by these huge trees. 
So you could be in the campground and you could feel like you're anywhere because you don't see the roads, you don't see houses, you're just in this little pocket. The ocean's just eight miles from us and the bay is right around the corner on the other side of the highway. Awesome. Well, thank you, Monica, so much for sharing with us about your campground. Um, we really look forward to hopefully coming there this summer. Thank you for interviewing and giving us the opportunity to share our story. So we made it. That is our top five countdown of the, our favorite campgrounds in the show. What do you have to yeah. say? Well, after interviewing with these families, I can't wait to get out there this summer and go see, check out their campgrounds because they sound awesome. They sound like so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I like that we focus mostly on campgrounds that are family uh, owned and operated. I feel it's important to feel at home when you visit. So Yeah, yeah. But I'm definitely tired and I want to check out the rest of the show. So see we're going to now next check time. for that uh, fifth wheel that we're going to get next. Oh, that was good, Andy. <laughs>